Hi, Steve here, uh, reporting to you with the project. Now this pool behind me, I met with the gunite guy and he talked about pumping how many yards and he agreed on about 40 yards for this pool. One thing he did mention was this right side, the side that's closest to the house, we might want to chisel that edge. That was one point he talked to me about because we have a lot of length but not not a lot of width. Um, with this step here and this elevation of the lanai, it'd be not, our goal is what I'm saying is no step. All you do is just walk right into the pool. And the pool has plenty of room. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine, ten. Right now the, the pool's like ten feet away where we could kind of bring it maybe a couple more feet. So it's eight feet away from the, the lanai. And it's just a suggestion is what he had. Um, it would cost a little bit more money, maybe 800 bucks or so to have Chad come out and knock that edge out. Um, may, maybe, no, I think it would probably be half a day, so 600 bucks. He's 150 an hour for that machine. And uh, so if we want to make it a little bit more width, um, we've got awesome length. He would say that uh, he can bring this machine over, no delivery, he just drives it down the street. And it it's a nice pool. We we're planning on having a kind of a wheelchair ramp access where it's kind of like a beach access right here. But it'd be ni just nice if we had anybody ever came over in a wheelchair, they could just wheel them right in from the lanai. Uh, it's kind of a healing place with a, uh, a healing saltwater pool. Um, doing the pool with the hot tub. Now the hot tub could be about two feet higher than the pool edge with like a little waterfall running in to the pool and a backsplash coming off the back end of the hot tub would be like a raised planter and we could make that backsplash up to four feet with plants in it and have the, the fence, the little kitty, the little kitty fence. It could, we could have the lanai fenced in as well. And then one of those fences with the poles and they're like black and they go around the pool about four feet high. Have those, that fence system going around and then it it stops into that planter. And then on this other side, it stops into that planter. So the planter's four feet high, they can't climb over it. And then that planter can go towards building up a wall someday in back of it. Um, that could be like off time thing to do uh, with that planter. And having water, a couple waterfalls coming out of that that planter the raised backsplash not natural lava rocks I can stack them black mortar I like the real natural look I think you do too um, and then having the hot tub being a little higher with just like a a little bull nose cap uh, would be nice um, three maybe two or three lights one light in the hot tub one light or two lights in the pool the pool lights can be a little costly, uh, but they're really good quality, and those are um, are something to talk about. Maybe just one light in the deep end. Um, 
or in the middle so it's lighting up both I guess most pools do have just one light in the deep end is an average what I see <laughs> did not go back and forth too much about that now on the house the uh, the plaster work still needs to be done after gunite on the pool same with the house right now the house has a rough coat the rough coat is to cover the center block lines and give a base if you didn't if you just we want to do smooth so if someone brushes their knuckle or their hand it's just smooth it's not going to scratch you um, so much in california i'll be finishing concrete up to a stucco house and just oops get too close to that house and burn a lot of the skin off my knuckles and it I like smooth, um, has that adobe look to it, and uh, kids can like play on it and put their hands on it, and it's just really nice to the touch. Where the outside is yellow, I like the color of the house, just we can paint the plaster yellow. Then on the interior, making the walls almond, just like the house, because that almond is a great color. It, it's it's bright but not too bright and we do want to brighten this place up a bit the yellow will help the uh, the interior almond would help and I put as many windows as I saw fit still keeping strength with the structure and uh, Sliding glass doors, three of them, five foot window, then like a little kitchen window. But they only allow us to have one kitchen per house. They do actually let you put in a little sink, and you could put in a bar. And when no one's around, you just bring in a little barbecue or cooktop. And still, you got the sink, you got the bar, have some cabinets. Um, everything would fit really nice there. I'm going to talk to Jeff about adding one sink here. It's not on the plan, but I think it could be arranged. Where the bathroom, that'll be nice, has a closet. Um, we have to be creative with the drains, though. And uh, I need to also talk to Jeff about that. He's just the plumber who doesn't call you back until I go to his office and i got to get him in a headlock. Uh, maybe give him some money just to get him... Going. I've already given the um, electrician uh, money. I think it was like $700 to take on this job, and they're supposed to give me a breakdown, and they're not getting around to it. So I need the plans in hand. So these guys like, put the plans in their hand, and then there's no more excuses. they got to give me numbers. I already know their numbers because I've worked with them so much. Um, I, I listed just a forecast. They're like $4,500 each. Uh, you know, I have some room for some track lighting. You could put some track lighting off the beams. Um, we we want to put maybe some things on some dimmers. It'd be nice to have a mood dimmer kind of. Dimmers aren't that much more expensive to do. Uh, maybe some exterior lighting, uh, lighting up above, lighting for the pool, landscape lighting maybe. So there's a lot to the electricity and we're hoping no one wants engineering on the electricity we have to electricity to the pool equipment we need power there and this is where I want to put the pool equipment is on this kind of no man's land back side of the house that's why I built this structure here so we can encase all the pool equipment and we just want to make sure it's set back enough away from the leach field that they're going to, before we put the pool equipment in there. That's why I want to also talk to Jeff. Uh, there's a lot of questions that the plumber can answer. He, with the pool, they usually want an overflow where that overflow goes in to the plumbing system. So if the pool gets too high and it doesn't, um, we don't want the pool overflowing into the landscape as code and they want it to get to a overflow pipe that just goes directly into the sewer system. Um, so that's why I have to talk to the plumber. Hey, 
There's Elton right now. He caught me doing a personal video for you guys. He's got the best internet in the West. But uh, these are the things we have to get going on, is the windows, the uh, forming up the pool, the, the pool equipment. I need to dig some lines to, for all those pool pipes. We might have to rent a jackhammer and maybe have to rent a bobcat to move all this rock. We want to start building planters for the landscape. Uh, if the material's there, then I could definitely get things moving in a good speed. Um, yeah, it's real beautiful down here. Uh, always look forward to coming to work here. Just want to get it done. It'd be a real nice paradise for everybody. And uh, yeah, just really excited about getting the landscaping in, the irrigation in, the pool decking. Um, still need to finish that concrete. Um, I uh, need to talk to you about that one. I said there's, I guess you said there's about 4,500 left if I'd finished that part, and that would cover finishing all the concrete out to the driveway. Plus, we want to do a sliding gate rather than two gates that come together. A sliding gate would allow the wind to really hit it and not buckle the hinges. Um, also, making a door with an Ohia post, I can make it look really neat. So you have like a three-foot door with a 12-foot gate. Um, right now, it's just, it's just too much width. You don't need all that. And I can blend in the pillars with a gate and then another uh, gate for the cars. We have to pour a concrete track for it to roll on. And that's why I haven't built that planter out front yet is because the, we want to build in that gate with electrical and all, all the housing. Uh, this is the project. Uh, hope to hear from you soon. And aloha.